Hey guys, this is Vignesh from Phone Arena. This is week 43 of 2017 and you're watching Phone Arena Weekly. After Airtel partnering with Carbon for the 4G VULT phone, now Vodafone has also partnered with Micromax to launch Bharat 2 Ultra 4G phone in order to take Geo phones. Under this partnership, existing and new Vodafone customers will have to buy Bharat 2 Ultra smartphone for 2899 and will have to do a recharge of Rs 150 per month for 36 months. At the end of 18 months, user will receive a cashback of Rs 900 and after 18 months, a cashback of Rs 1000 respectively in their Vodafone M-Pesa wallet. The specifications of the Micromax Bharat 2 Ultra 4G phone is similar to that of the Bharat 2 smartphone which was launched earlier this year. For more specifications, you can check out the link in the description below. Oppo has announced its latest selfie-focused smartphone dubbed as Oppo FI smartphone at an event in Philippines this week. This smartphone comes with a 6-inch Full HD 18-9 full-screen display and has a 20MP front-facing camera with AI beauty recognition technology that can scan 200 facial recognition spots to beautify a selfie shot perfectly and also offers a bokeh shot. It also has a face unlock feature to quickly unlock the phone. The Oppo F5 comes in gold, black and red color and starts at $307, which is approximately $19,000. On the other hand, Oppo also confirmed the launch of its R11S smartphone at an event in China on November 2nd. It has also confirmed that it will feature a 20 megapixel front and rear facing cameras. In terms of specifications, the Oppo R11S is expected to come with a 6 inch display powered by Snapdragon 660 mobile platform and runs on Android 7.1.1 Nougat with color OS on top. Xiaomi has sent out the launch invite for the launch of a new smartphone in India on November 2nd which is expected to be the launch of a Redmi Note 5A smartphone. In terms of specifications, the Redmi Note 5A is expected to come with a 5.5 inch HD 2.5D curved glass display powered by Octa-Core Snapdragon 435 chipset with Android 7.1.1 Nougat with MIUI 9 on top. On the other hand, the teaser also hints that the company might reveal details about the MIUI 9 global stable ROM that is expected to release early November. For more information regarding the device list and MIUI 9 update, check out the link in the description below. HTC has already confirmed that it will launch a new U-series smartphone at an event in November 2nd. Now the company has also posted a teaser showing us the fingerprint sensor on the back just below the camera module and also hints at the wireless charging technology support for the phone. Expected to be the U11 Plus smartphone, it is rumored to pack a 6-inch Quad HD display powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 mobile chipset and runs on Android 8.0 Oreo. Apple has introduced iPhone 10 with a major overall in design at company's 10th anniversary event. It is already said that the phone will go on pre-order on October 17 in more than 55 countries including India. Now, the e-commerce giants including Flipkart and Amazon have started taking pre-order for the iPhone X smartphone which will be shipped on November 3rd. The iPhone 10 starts at Rs 89,000 for the 64 gigs variant and goes all the way up to 1 lakh 2,000 for the 256 gigs variant. Amazon has introduced a new way of delivery system for the Prime users in USA called Amazon Key. According to this system, it allows the courier to open your friend door and put the package inside your home. It also launched a new cloud cam security camera which has a support for Alexa voice assistance. The Amazon key service that lets the courier unlock the door and put the package inside your home while you are away at the time of delivery. This new service relies on the new security camera, the cloud cam and the compatible smart lock. Nvidia launched its GeForce GTX 1070 last year. Now the company has launched the GeForce GTX 1070 Ti and GeForce GTX 1070 Ti Founders Edition in India. It is based on new Pascal architecture and is built on TSMC's 60nm FinFET process similar to that of GTX 1070 but this has more powerful with 2432 cores. Nvidia says that it will offer double the performance of the GeForce GTX 970. The NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1070 Ti Founders Edition is priced at Rs 37,000 in India and will be available in several retail stores starting from November.